Good morning. I am the Reverend Jenny Hayward, Associate Minister of St John Baptist Claims and St George's Barbourn in Worcester. And our service today comes from St George's and we welcome you. After so long away, we are now able to be back in our churches. Our theme for this morning is moving on. We all need the ability and courage to move on, whatever our circumstances, and that involves churches and what we offer to our communities. As a nation, as communities, and as individuals, we need to be looking beyond the horrors of the last 18 months or so, to what I hope will be a new vision for all, regardless of ethnic origin, background, or where you live. We have recovered from pandemics before in our history, and we can do so again, with, I hope, the vision of a better world in sight. And so, let us pray, particularly remembering the people of Afghanistan at this time. Even as we praise you, Lord, we cannot escape the darker side of life. We find it hard to understand the suffering so many have to endure. We hold to the fact that in Jesus you identified with all who endure persecution, pain and sorrow. We still cannot understand why the world as is as it is. Stiffen our resolve to give help wherever we have the opportunity to do so. Christ, draw near to us, little people rowing through the storm of this time, bring us safely to that haven of life in your presence. The world belongs to God, the earth, and all its people. How good it is, how wonderful, to live together in unity. Love and faith come together. Justice and peace join hands. So let us pause for a moment and remember the times, the words, the actions that we will regret and those we wish to forget. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to the way we wound our lives the lives of others and the life of the world. May God forgive us, Christ renew us, and the Spirit enable us to grow in love. We lay down what is past and look to the future. We take into our daily life signs of hope and healing. And so we reach beyond ourselves to share the lives of others and touch a wider world. Our Bible reading is words from a modern version of Psalm 72. Give to your leaders good judgment, O God, and a sense of what is right for all. May they govern your people with justice and do right for those that are powerless. May they defend the poor and save the children of those that are needy. May justice flower in their day, 
and peace till the moon is no more. May they rescue the needy and the poor who have no one to help them. Give your leaders good judgment, O Lord, and knowledge of what is right. Moving on, I wonder what that means for you. New house, perhaps. Many people are on the move. Judging for the for sale and sold notices around. My daughter, who works for an estate agent, says houses are moving at a breathtaking rate. Perhaps a new job. Moving on from the bitter taste of redundancy. Or retraining for something new. Picking up the threads of an old life, perhaps. Or moving on to something you might never have considered before. We are all moving on. Whether we do it positively or negatively is up to us. We need to value every individual, both for what they are and what they could be. We need a new vision for both our country and ourselves. And we need to make sure that the opportunities that are needed are there for all to access. As churches, COVID has caused us to learn to work differently. It's been something of a wake-up call and we will take what we have learnt into the future. More people have watched services online than have been or will be seen in our churches. God is not confined to a building and the word church actually means the people of God, not a building. We are needing now more than ever to evaluate how our message of love, forgiveness and hope can be transmitted to our post-COVID world. While Psalm 72 tells of how leaders should lead, it is, us to, it is up to us, all of us, to take its words to heart and to decide how we can play our part towards moving into a newer and fairer world, a world that values everyone, whoever and whatever they are. I have read this poem before, but it is very relevant to our theme. It is called Travelling On by Jan Berry. When hope invites us to journey, elusive, beckoning onward, but never in our grasp, God of wisdom and promise, give us courage to travel on. When dreams glimmer in the distance, fading, clouded, hidden, or shining with new brightness, God of wisdom and promise, give us courage to travel on. When established patterns collapse into the uncertainty of the unknown, and security dissolves into a memory. God of wisdom and promise, give us courage to travel on. When the illusion of success threatens to divert us and silence our soul's yearning, God of wisdom and promise, Give us courage to travel on. And when we think our journey has ended, 
only to find a new beginning. God of wisdom and promise, give us courage to travel on. And so we pray. When may God, who is with you, when you sit or stand, encompass you with love and lead you by the hand. A star in the darkness, a staff to the weak. May the love of Christ fill every heart for you and for everyone. And may we join our prayers in saying the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever amen And at the conclusion of our service, we end with the hymn, Guide Me, O Thou Great Redeemer.
May the God of peace give you peace at all times and in all ways. And may we move on from the present into the future, knowing that peace. Amen.